Alrighty now. Let's start evolving. So, I got a, a comment from one of our family members. His name is The The Do. And The Do wanted me to do a a, uh, a few drawing tutorials on Ant's Eye View for a short name, uh, Bird's Eye View, etc. And so, we're going to do that. And so, I'm going to be separating these tutorials into different different segments or different videos maybe we'll see and so generally I like to uh, when I'm, whenever I'm using uh, doing going to go for ants eye view or, or bird's eye view I like to use uh, the, the the natural cylinder the basic cylinder all right so we're gonna be uh, I'm gonna be covering the natural cylinder and uh, I'm gonna be covering the the unnatural cylinder and so for now, the natural cylinder is just a basic, the basic form of what a cylinder should look like. Kind of like how a, uh, a kitchen, these kitchen napkins are, alright? They're just basic cylinders, there's no skewing going on, like when you see with a cup, like this, there's a skew here. But so so far we're just gonna go with natural cylinders like how this is all right so natural cylinders we're gonna be looking at the the top view all right so the top view from the side if we were like a hundred percent looking at the top view we would see a full circle but we'll get to that soon so right now this is the top view from the side Okay, and this is what a, a, a cylinder, a, a, a basic or natural cylinder looks like, okay? Now, if we were to push this cylinder, okay? So our eyes, firstly, our eyes, the camera, the view, the view is looking from, is at the side, at the same time it's looking near, near the top, okay? Almost near the top. Now, if we were to tip this a little bit, like just push it, push it in, we would be able to see the, um, we'd be able to see the bottom section, okay? So right now we're gonna just do the same exact thing. And there's no intense, there's no intense uh, foreshortening going on. This is just to understand how these uh, forms work, okay? Although not perfect, although not perfect, we got, we got it, okay? So we can, you know, imagine visualizing pushing this and then seeing this come up okay so it's kind of similar to how you know if we were to push this and then the bottom portion would come up all right so i don't have a, a very small enough view for this for a good natural cylinder but you know here we go so this is what it looks like now if we were to uh skew the not skew but use for shortening actually if we were to use for shortening for these cylinders we would use for shortening when we see the full circle of a cylinder all right the full circle okay that's when i would use my for shortening all right so this is the full circle right now we're going to see the top view all righty so this is the full circle right now Okay, if we were to like actually move the camera a little bit more and over and over go over this cylinder, we would see this full circle. And as we see this full circle, this is going to, uh, we're going to see perspective. Whatever is going away from us, from the camera view, is going to get, it's going to start to shrink, okay? Alrighty. So this is, that's what's going to happen. Things, the lines are going to start to shrink a little bit. Alrighty, the lines are, are going to uh, look like this, you know, there's there's some skewing going on, the lines are just tampering, tampering a little bit because we're seeing that full circle, alrighty, so the same thing will go for if we were to now push this, okay, now if we were to push this a little bit, you would see the full circle, and as we see the full circle, we're going to again just um, just skew that perspective as if it's going away from us. So we're pushing it, 
all right we're pushing it and now it's going away from so this is what this is generally what is what your um what your for shortening is going to look like when you're playing around with cylinders okay so we're looking at the bottom and we're looking at the top here all right and so these are what i like to call natural natural cylinders all right these, these are just what i like to uh call natural cylinders now and so now we're going to cover the unnatural cylinders all right now we're going to cover the unnatural cylinders all right so right now um unnatural cylinders would be cylinders that taper or they have some kind of weird shape to them you know they don't naturally look like the basic cylinder you know so right now we're going to draw a a natural a i mean an unnatural cylinder so an unnatural cylinder is going to look like this and i'm going to show showcase some real life examples too later on in the video so yeah stay tuned for that so this is what an, an unnatural cylinder is going to look like it could look this could be a flower pot or some kind of cup you know so these are generally natural cylinders and maybe i should have just made this a, a little bit more more taller so that you can see and you wouldn't mistake this this for this for shortening that's going on for these so right now there's no for shortening going on here all right this is just what it naturally looks looks like you know this is just what it, you know yeah this is just what it looks like this is just a and this is just a basic cylinder alrighty and you know these two are equal in that sense you know there's no for shortening going on in either of these two okay now if we were to skew the perspective a little bit more or use for shortening on this which which is like a a cup you know this this is the example I'm, I'm trying to say this you can see how it naturally makes that taper there's no there's no for shortening going on not yet anyway you can just see how it naturally does that this isn't like how a a, a natural cylinder is like it's like very straight you know it's not tapering or nothing okay and so if we were to use perspective or um i mean if we were to use uh, foreshadowing on this on this unnatural cylinder or or this cup sort of say uh we would do it like this okay we would still see the pro you would still see the the, um, the full circle however it'll be just a bit more intensified okay it'll just be a bit more intense just because it's already like this you know it'll be a lot more tense and a lot more shrunken all right so we're gonna do that right now all right so full circle and then just 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 generally what it would look like all right just generally what it would look like it's a little bit messy here but you you I hope you guys get the the idea of it you know and so understand the difference between an unnatural cylinder and a natural cylinder and i'm going to show 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 you guys some real life examples coming up soon and i'm going to show you guys a few real life examples so i have four sets of cylinders so i have one un, uh, i have one a natural cylinder what you're seeing right now and three other unnatural cylinders that i'm going to get into later on in this video and so we have this cylinder right here all right so as you can see look how the camera our view this camera right here that you're looking at right now well you're not looking at it, i'm controlling it but look how i'm controlling this camera and you're able to see that side that side plane but you're able to see like almost the top kind of like how this drawing looks here okay now what i was explaining is that if you were to scroll up a little bit more if you were to go up a little bit more you'll see how but the perspective the uh the perspective kind of just starts to uh change when, you, when we see that that full circle you see that full circle now see how and it also depends on the length and the, the, the structure of it but generally this is what it, lo what it looks <clears throat> generally this is what it looks like okay look how it's kind of being skewed as it goes towards the bottom so we're seeing that full circle right here that full
full circle, okay? Look how sexy that looks, all right? And so, as we as we see here, the, the, the basic static structure of it, this is what it's gonna look like when we're, when we're looking at it from this view, all right? And so, look how, how it's like this straight lines here. So right now, we're looking at it from like, the, like this view. There's no foreshortening going on here. The only for shortening is when I show that full circle here. So right now we're just going to be looking at it. Look, look, look how the basic structure is just a, sh a straight line going down. Alrighty, alrighty. And so we're going to move on to the next, the next ex example. <clears throat> the next example. So this is a cup, a glass cup. Look how this, this is very straight and this is very, uh, it tapers. It is an unnatural cylinder. And also no, there's no, pers there's no for shortening going on here. Okay, so yeah, there's no foreshortening going on here. Even though these lines here are being tapering or tapering like this, there's no foreshortening going on there. There's just an unnatural cylinder. And so right now we're going to uh, again do the exact same thing, and you can just see how it's even more. It's even it's showing what the perspective, but it's more intense because of the shape of this of this cup. Okay, we're seeing that full circle here. Okay, always draw that full circle when you're when you're doing that perspective. Okay, and there's also right here we have this plate or you know the tiny cups. I'm not not a cup, but the tiny plate thingies. You know you can see how now the shape. These this is just a line. Okay, these are just lines. Okay, this these are just lines, and I'm showing right now lines and there's lines going here. Now this is a lot more advanced. It's still considered, I still consider an unnatural cylinder, but since it's a cup, it's something that it's not, not a cup. It's a, it's a plate thingy. Since it's something that we eat from, you know, you can see how it's, it's starting to curve. This line is just starting to curve into that cylinder. So right now, the methods still do apply for this, for any of of it. It's just that everything is a lot more, you know, skewed. And you can see as we see that full circle. You know, we don't really see that line. We barely see see anything going on, just due to the, the the sheer size of it. You know, the sheer size of this place. We don't see anything of. We don't see much of the bottom, just because it's so small. Okay, and this part portion is covering up this full circle. It's covering up this tiny, tiny little portion right here. Okay, so there's not much to be seen here. The sign, likewise for this, except this this is like kind of reversed. See how this is like kind of going outwards. This is like going, yeah. This is just going uh, outwards. Well, how do I explain? See, you get what I mean. Uh, you you can see how uh, we see this full circle right here. This full circle, and just due to the sheer tiny tininess of this bottom portion, we barely see see much of it. You know, and so this could uh, also show the difference in size you know of these cylinders however if, if they were both balanced or at least similar almost balanced like this this is almost balanced like this top so this top full circle here is is almost balanced to this tiny this this circle here you know the, this it, it's not like this is like so little you know it's still balanced these two are equals, all right? So the more the the full circle intensity increases, you know, in size, depending on the unnatural cylinder, the more the lower the lower circle is going to decrease, you know? And so far, you know, so far, let's, when we're drawing humans or perspective, and you know, now that I've talked about cylinders, we're just gonna be focusing on this 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 natural easy cylinder to look into whenever we're doing perspective alrighty alrighty and also also if we wanted to uh, you know just put this turn this aside here you can just see the same thing the same thing would happen yeah let's let's do that actually the same thing would happen right here okay so what if the, the smaller the smaller one was was uh, yeah the smaller was uh, the top was smaller than the bottom which is bigger then it'll be the exact same thing but not the exact same thing but you barely could see it here but you'll be able let me use this example then you'll be able to since this is smaller you can see how this the the, the bottom portion which is this now this 
is getting a lot wider you know and so far we're just going to be focusing on this so this natural so this natural looking cylinder no skewing going on is pretty much a, a straight line the only skewing or the foreshortening going on here is when we do that that's when the lines start to you know taper downwards okay you know however it doesn't naturally look like it, it does that it's just a straight line all right all right so when we're drawing the human forms we're going to be sticking with this this okay we're going to be sticking with the natural cylinder all right this is what we're going to be doing Alrighty, alrighty. So, stay tuned. Look out for some, some anti-view tutorial next week or so. Peace out.